Hello, everybody. My name is Janie Toll, and I'd like to welcome you to the BUA 105-1 Introduction to Business course. This class is an introduction to the structure, functioning, and role of the business and economic systems. This is an asynchronous course for dual high school and college credit. In this introduction, I will give you an overview of the materials needed for this course and the different assignments that must be completed during the semester. As mentioned in the previous slide, this course is asynchronous. Asynchronous means the class will be completed online, either on Canvas or in Connect. All lectures, coursework, quizzes, exams, and the business model will be completed and submitted through the Canvas. These slides aren't meant to be used as your syllabus. To get more detailed information regarding assignments, please refer to the syllabus and the modules in Canvas. A syllabus will be located on the Canvas class homepage. If you're a student that requires accommodations, please reach out to me via email with your information. And if you have questions during the course, uh, please email me at tollj at thomasmore.edu. I will usually respond within 24 to 48 hours of your email. Um, keep in mind if you are working on coursework and it's due, um, don't wait until the last minute to get in touch with me um, since I'm not checking my emails every hour, um, just within 24 to 48 hours. And then as far as office hours go, um, the hope is that we won't have to schedule any kind of in-person meeting, um, but um, if the need arises, uh, I will be available by appointment only. And then we also will have options for um, Teams meetings or you know, some kind of a video chat if needed as well. Teaching this course is exciting for me because it is a dual credit for both high school and college, giving you all the ability to get a head start with completing your college education before you even graduate from high school. There's nothing like killing two birds with one stone. A lot of what's going to be taught in this class can be related to current events with businesses, the economy, and the U.S. government's decisions. I hope you enjoy what it has to offer. The program learning outcomes for this course are number one, communication. We hope that graduates of the business programs are able to communicate correctly and purposefully, integrating technology into writing and presentations, your business knowledge. The hope is that graduates of the business programs are able to demonstrate knowledge from a variety of sub-disciplines and apply the knowledge and skills to reach solutions, whether it's within your own business or with your employer. The global environment. We hope that graduates of the program are able to demonstrate the knowledge of the complexities of this decision making in the global environment. Upon completion of this course, students will have the following learning outcomes. Number one, understand the basis of the American business system and how it functions within society. Two, understand how businesses are developed and operated to produce products and services that satisfy the customer needs, but also all the stakeholders' needs. Utilize library resources to research news and analyze it relative to course material and assignments, and have the ability to create and present a business model canvas. For this class, you'll be using Canvas to submit assignments and link to connect assignments. The required text is Understanding Business, the 13th edition by Nichols, McHugh, and McHugh. The options for the text are, of course, on this slide, but Thomas More's recommendations for the text would be to choose option number two, which is purchasing the Connect eBook so that students can purchase a discounted loose leaf text if needed at a very low price. There will be several different assignments to complete during this course. The assignments will be a mix of course readings and lectures, current event discussion board posts, homework quizzes, 
exams, and the business model canvas project. We will discuss the details of each in subsequent slides. Each week there will be assigned text to read with associated lectures, which are detailed either in the syllabus or the canvas. Please be sure to complete these readings and listen to the lectures because they will help students prepare for assignments throughout the course. On occasions, I may assign the students to read an article or watch a video that relates to the topics we're studying that week, which will help reinforce learning of this course. The details of these assignments will all be addressed in the Canvas modules. After completing the required reading assignments, there will be current event discussion board posts due throughout the course. The cool thing about these assignments is there are some relevant real world examples going on in the United States and throughout the world that can be used to address these assignments. I'm not going to read every requirement for the discussion board post, but please make sure you're following the instructions on the assignments in Canvas to make sure that you get all your credit that's due. Um, so just to go over a few, um, on the first part of your post, your individual post, it'll have to be 300 to 350 words, including a news, the name of the newspaper article or electronic article as well as the date it was written and the title of the article and the author. Um, and then answer the following questions. Why I chose this article, what the article was about, how it relates directly to a business concept we discussed during the class, and then how you felt about the article as well. You'll also need to reply to one of the other students' discussion boards posts as well. Um, minimum requirement words on this is 150 to 200 words. The initial post um, will be due according to the directions on campus, but that canvas, but that's usually on Thursday night, and then your replies will be due by the following Sunday night at 11.59 p.m. Keep in mind, um, all posts that you respond to, please be sure uh, to be polite. Everybody's got their own opinions, um, but we want to hear them all. So enjoy this assignment and I look forward to reading and I will also respond to these as well. Throughout the semester, various homework assignments will be assigned that allow the student to demonstrate their understanding of the course material. This course will also use an online tool called McGraw-Hill Connect which allows students to engage with the material both before and after we discuss it in class. Specific assignments and instructions are in Canvas, but basically can be found within each module, which is assigned each week. You can find these modules on the home page, and once you access them, you'll get to where it's called assignments. As you can see on the slide on where it shows week one assignment. It indicates all the assignments and their due dates. You get to the smart book assignment by simply, or the quizzes by simply <clears throat> selecting the assignment and it'll take you directly to the McGraw-Hill website. Quizzes and exams will be completed on the McGraw-Hill Connect website. To access the quizzes and exams, you will open the weekly modules in the, example on the slide, it shows how each assignment is due. As you can see in week one, there's a chapter one connect quiz. By simply clicking on the assignment, Canvas will take you directly to the McGraw-Hill Connect website to take your quiz and exam. Please be sure that you're aware of the due dates. These due dates will not be extended. If you are a student that needs accommodations for test taking, please email me with your details providing the necessary information and I will be glad to make sure there are reasonable accommodations. In the business model Canvas project assignment, each group will create a business idea that you're interested in making available to customers 
and will then create a business model canvas that addresses items such as product or service created, the customers you will serve, and how the product or service is advertised and distributed. Additionally, students will create a SWOT analysis. The project has multiple components, an approval step, a Word document containing key components, a PowerPoint presentation, and a team score. Details of each component are in Canvas. Also, please pay attention to the syllabus with all the relevant due dates. The Business Model Canvas project is a group project. Each group will contain about four people each. The idea of working in a group is to complete an assignment simulating how projects might be assigned in the business workplace. All assignments have to be completed by the time and due date that's on your syllabus or indicated in Canvas. And please be sure, and I can't stress this enough, to start meeting early regarding this project to ensure it's completed in time. The first assignment for this project will be due in week number five, which is the um, submission of the product and service you want to do your project on. Um, and do not start working on the project until the project has been approved. For the business model paper, you're gonna create the business idea or the product or service that you're interested in making available to your customers. Again, as I mentioned in the last slide, there is an approval step. Um, the directions are in Canvas, but it's simply a Word document um, that needs to be submitted following the instructions that are listed in Can Canvas, which will include key components of the project, um, service, that the group would like to make available to the potential customers. Uh, you'll create a business model canvas. The model should address items such as the product or service being created, the customers you will serve, and how the product service is advertised and distributed. You will also, as a part of this process, create what's called a SWOT analysis. A SWOT analysis is the way that you can assess as a business the strengths and weaknesses of a potential product service offerings. Uh, more details about the SWOT analysis can be found in the assignment on Canvas. And if you need an example of a paper, um, please be sure to let me know. You can just simply send me an email and I will get that for you. Um, also in the first week where the assignment do, is due, I did provide an interesting YouTube video of starting a business. So it will be interesting for you to watch as you prepare for and go through the steps of this project. As a part of the Business Model Canvas project, your group will need to present your project in a PowerPoint presentation. My guess is many of you have already used PowerPoint at this point. But if you need help, please know, and I'll be happy to provide you with some resources to help get you started. All presentations should be narrated with each group member speaking in the presentation. The final part of the Business Model Canvas project is your team evaluation. You will evaluate each team member and yourself for the work you put into the project with a ratings of one to 10. Do not add up each score on the form. If you wish to add comments to back up ratings for your teammate, please add them at the bottom of the form. If you do not submit your team evaluation, you will not receive points for the portion of the grade, regardless of whether your teammates provided an evaluation for you. The evaluation will be due on Sunday at 11.59 on the day your model is due, um, and that's 11.59 Eastern time. Whether you are going to major in business or just trying to understand the foundations of business, this course will give you the knowledge that you need to get started. I look forward to working with each and every student and hope that we have a great semester.